I made this cargo shelf for my Honda Element. I made it down in the shop with a piece of cardboard and scribe. But now what I'm going to do is make a SketchUp model of it very quickly. And then I'm going to post that model up on the SketchUp warehouse so that you can download it and take all the dimensions off of it if you have a Honda Element and you want to make this for yourself. Also, if you have another car that has a cargo area, it may work, you know, in some variation, you may be able to modify it. So I'll start with a quick rectangle. I'm gonna hit the R key, start right in the corner there, and just go like that, and then come down in here and type in 52.75 comma 21 enter. Okay. And then I'm going to double click on it, right click, and I'm going to make it a group. Key key for tape measure. Come in, 2.25, enter. Same thing over here. Hit the O key to orient myself around. I'm going to get into this group. I'm going to hit the L key for line. I'm going to find that mark I made. It snaps to it. And then I want to go to this one. And then come up here. Same thing on the other side. Those two lines right there. And those two lines right there. T key, I'm just going to grab on this surface right here. 11. If you don't type in anything but the number, it's defaulted for inches because of the way I have it set up. If you're working in millimeters, it would go uh, and put in millimeters. 2.5, enter. Same thing over here. Get back into this uh, surface there. Line tool. Click there, to there, to there. Angle on the front here. And I don't really know what the angle is. I'm just going to do it by dimension. It's T key for tape measure. Come down two. And then come over about an inch and a half. Same thing over here. And then I'll just connect the dots here on that surface, L for line, and break that right there. Bucket tool. Now I'm gonna get into the group and I'm gonna hit the P key for push-pull, come up, 0.75. And now I'll upload it to the warehouse. Perfect. Well, listen, I appreciate the call back. It'll be a fun project. All right. Thanks, Stephen. Bye. Success. Okay. I will put a link to this model in the description of the video down below so that you can go there and download it. It's free. All that warehouse is all free of charge. The You'll need SketchUp, but remember SketchUp Make. That's SketchUp M-A-K-E. Search for that. That is their free version, and that's all you'll need. In fact, it's all you need for a lot of your modeling. I have the pro version, but I do a lot of other more complex stuff but for the woodshop stuff and doing this kind of SketchUp Make is perfect. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Most important, share the channel with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.